Uh, we're just doing some hellos. I want to talk a little bit about TechSoup. Uh, I'm going to spend, um, you know, I guess the focus of our time today to talk about cloud text texting and how I'm using that with my organization. And then have, uh, you know, kind of some quick hits with uh, micro learning minutes uh, and some, uh, some things that if anyone wants to share about their favorite um, tools or technology, the, um, so I'm going to do a little interview format here. Uh, Liz, you uh, game to uh, join me on stage and we'll talk a little bit about TechSoup. Is that good with you? Yeah. So, okay. yeah. So I'm going to put, uh, so, so Liz, I, I know you've uh, heard me talk about TechSoup and, uh, have you ever worked in an organization where other people talk to, or am I the only one you know who talks about TechSoup? You're the only one I know, um, but I feel like I've heard, I've recognized it mentioned maybe in some like nonprofit Facebook groups since then, but I, you're the only one that I've ever known that really explained what it was, so. Yeah. Okay, so is, a, I think, I know Tyree from working with him that uh, you're familiar with it because I've, how, Anna, how about you? Have you come across TechSoup before or is, is that new to you? I know that some people uh, are not able maybe to come off mute. So we'll just keep the conversation going with, uh, with Liz. So, uh, what I have up on the screen uh, is the mission statement for TechSoup. It's, their mission is to build a bridge that enables civil society organizations, nonprofits, social change agents around the world to gain effective access to resources they need to design and implement technology solutions for a more equitable planet. Sounds like someone graduated high school, college, and graduate school to come up with <laughs> a, uh, a mission statement like that. That is packed with uh, some big words and big ideas. The way I think about TechSoup is that it's, uh, it's an incredible organization that uh, has the mission of helping other nonprofit organizations to accomplish their mission more powerfully through the uh, making technology more accessible, available, and understandable. So Liz, what if, if you saw someone on the street, yeah, I guess I'm doing a reverse interview now, and they asked you what TechSoup is, what what would be your short answer? Um, that they make technology accessible to nonprofits by offering um, like discounts to useful technological resources like the Adobe Suite. I know you've used that and like little yeah. green light, different things yep. like that. That's what I've really experienced of them through you. But you told me that there are some other things that they do that I wasn't familiar with before we had that conversation about them earlier. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So let me just mention a little bit about that. Uh, and we'll share uh, these links. Uh, Liz is going to put some of them uh, in the chat. And I'm going to uh, launch some of them here. I already showed you the, the mission and values. So Liz, if you want, you could put that one in. We can also share this after you know, after the meeting, uh, I'm going to launch another link here. If my browser cooperates. Looks like I'm getting some good cooperation. Uh, and Liz did uh, post that up. Yeah, um, Liz, let's try copying and pasting. It looks like if we, oh, I don't know, like the way I sent it to you. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one and I'm just going to see if it'll paste in cleanly. Uh, yeah, and the, um, 
yeah, the mission and values one. Uh, I've had this happen to me before where uh, if I yeah. send things, yeah, so there's, uh, there's that one. Okay, um, just a couple of other ones, a couple of other things to show. Maybe I'll just navigate uh, from, from their website uh, just to hit a couple of, uh, of points. I'm gonna go to the, uh, the TechSoup org site. The, the takeaway that I would like people to have, here I'm gonna click on resources. So just like maybe one more minute on this, they have articles and how to's, and this is at no cost. I think you have access to this even if you are not registered. You do have to be a, at least in the United States, as you can see, uh, TechSoup Global works with almost every country in the world. Uh, you select your country and your uh, navigation panel might be a, a little bit different, but there'll be articles and how to's which are freely available. I think many of the webinars, if you find something interesting, uh, you'll, you know, I think you can just watch it in there. If you want to take advantage of their services for technology management, they are a fee for those, but they're very much discounted than what you might pay otherwise. And a product catalog. Now, it may not necessarily have absolutely everything and anything uh, from any company. Uh, I know that some people uh, for graphics, we talked about this our last meeting, they'll use Canva. We see Canva isn't listed here. If you go to Canva, there is a nonprofit pricing option on there. So you can certainly go directly to the manufacturers uh, if you find it uh, convenient here to uh, obtain the uh, primarily software or service or subscription through TechSoup, you're, you're paying mostly an administrative cost to help them manage their program, which is in many uh, instances, I've found about a 90% uh, savings from what you would pay uh, if you were paying a uh, corporate retail price. So you can see the, uh, the listings here. Does that make sense? Anybody have a question on that either in the chat or if you wanna come off mute? Um, and if not, uh, no worries. Okay, so what I wanna do is to, uh, to keep uh, things going is I want to uh, bring us over to uh, our main topic for today, which is cloud, uh, cloud texting. And uh, let me bring up the, uh, let's see, did I, yep, here we, uh, think, uh, over here. So uh, Liz, I'm, I'm, this is a different video. I'm, I'm gonna put this uh, in the chat here. And what I'm gonna share with you is some information about cloud texting from the uh, platform that I've been using. And I would suggest that there are other, uh, let's see if I could find my, uh, this is, I'm just looking for my, uh, to demo the, uh, my actual, uh, yeah, here it is. Here's my, uh, I'm gonna put over on the uh, screen here. Yeah, this is the dashboard for uh, the cloud texting platform. Now, before I get into it too much, uh, if, Again, for those who uh, have the ability to come off mute or in the chat, is cloud texting something, can you give me a sense? Are you familiar with it? Have you used it? Uh, should I put up a poll on this? Or can someone, uh, we're also, I'm gonna 
uh, Liz, maybe you and I are going to continue our interview here. So let me ask you, Liz, since uh, I believe it's okay for you to come off mute. In the organizations where you, you've worked, have you used cloud texting? So we've used a texting used a texting service before where we sent like reminders and updates, but I'm not really sure if that was particularly cloud texting because I don't know the difference between just like a texting service and like a cloud texting service or if there even is one. Okay, uh, I, I'm not uh, using the, uh, or I don't intend to use the phrase cloud texting in, a, in an overly technical sense, but the reason I'm saying cloud texting is you can see I am in a browser here and I'm logged in to my account and I'm able to launch text messages to different sets of contact lists rather than sending the text message from my phone, which of course I could, I could also do that, mm -hmm. uh, but I'm having it sent through a service. So what I'd like to do is I'm gonna show you, uh, show everyone how I've been using this service and why I find it valuable uh, but what I'd like to do here is to show a few minutes of a video from Simple Texting. I am not affiliated with uh, Simple Texting other than being a customer of theirs. And there are other uh, texting platform providers. Uh, we're we're going to send you out uh, some, some links on that. Uh, Liz, if you would maybe put in the link for remind.com, R-E-M-I-N-D.com. That's a text reminder service used by schools and community organizations. One of the other nonprofits that I'm familiar with in my area, they use a service called easytexting.com with the letter E, the letter Z, texting.com. All right, so uh, I'm gonna uh, set this, uh, I think we're, we're set. So Liz, you tell me if the audio is coming through once I start, uh, start playing this. Hi there, and welcome to Simple Texting. Is the audio coming through? Yep, it's good. Okay, great. I'm going to boost the, uh, into full screen. We're going to watch about two minutes of the, you know, maybe two and a half minutes. Then I'm going to pause it, check in with you, see if we're uh, have any questions, and then I'll show you a demonstration if you wish we can participate in through uh, my organization's account. All right, so here we go, about two and a half minutes or so. In this video, we're going to show you how to add your first contacts and send your first message. Let's imagine we're a coffee shop. Maybe it's called Impresso Espresso. Wait, no, the daily grind. Yeah, that's cooler. Okay, so our coffee shop already sends email promotions to our customers, but our open rates are not that great. We know techs have open rates as high as 98%, so we decide to try it. And that's where simple texting comes in. You can access it from your computer or our iOS or Android app. At the top right, you'll find the number you'll use to send and receive messages. And of course, if you want to send messages, you need your customer's phone numbers. So let's collect some. We'll set up the text to join keyword. Click keywords on the left hand side, then create first keyword. A keyword is a word that people can text into your number to sign up for messages. Let's make ours something memorable, like our business name, The Daily Grind. When someone texts The Daily Grind to our number, we want to enter them into a list called Customers. You can create unlimited lists with simple texting. You could have one for employees and another for customers. Okay, let's write a message that people will get as soon as they text in the keyword to our number. Hi there, thanks for signing up for our messages. You'll be the first to hear about exclusive deals on all things coffee. Click save and done. The keyword is live instantly. Why not test it now? Seriously, if you're watching this, go ahead and text the daily grind to our number 833-612-0756 to see how it works. 
Okay, I'm uh, stopping it there for just a, a brief uh, comment. I, I did this a little while ago, and as the speaker is saying, if you'd like to uh, interact with this, send that text message, the daily grind, to that number, 833-612-0756, and see what happens. All right, I'm going to continue with the video. You can advertise keywords on signs, receipts, menus, t-shirts, emails, you name it. In no time, our coffee shop will have a big list of subscribers. Let's message our coffee shop's customers about a sale we have on t-shirts. Go to campaigns and click new campaign. Give the campaign a name. This is just for your reference. Subscribers won't see this. Now write out your message. Hello, overly caffeinated family. We're offering a free bag of beans when you buy a Daily Grind t-shirt. Here's the link. Be sure to click our link shortener. Select who you want to send the message to. In this case, customers. Then hit next. You can schedule your message for a specific date and time, or just send it now. Done, your first message is out in the world. If you use our link shortener, you can even see how many people click your link down here. Now you may be wondering, what if somebody texts back? Okay, I'm going to come back uh, to maybe watch a little bit more of the video from that point. But I'd like to ask, does that, uh, did that make sense? Did that seem uh, like a good, uh, a good explanation for, um, for how this, uh, texting service works. Okay, great. So I'm going to uh, switch over to uh, show you, let's see, whoops, um, a little bit, an example from, from mine. Uh, I've got two monitors here. I'm just pushing this one over and let's see. Okay. And what I have done is I've created a keyword called tech soup. Now I want to go back to my uh, home screen. And if you would uh, be willing, uh, I know I already got some uh, uh, participation from Liz uh, at the beginning of our meeting. This is the toll free text number for my organization's subscription to Simple Texting. It's 844-941-4282. So if we could have uh, maybe uh, one or more people from uh, who are on our session with us, if you would uh, please uh, send the keyword Tech soup to that number. Do we have any anyone, everyone, anybody from Mammoth Cares can uh, participate in this? So that we could okay, I think we got somebody. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I'm gonna go back down to uh, great, fantastic. Uh, thank you, All right, Tyree. Okay, so so what's uh, Tyree should have received a response message, and uh, I'm gonna go up here. It'll look something like this: uh, Your message was successfully submitted, and so forth. Okay, so if I go down to subscribers. I see that I now have five subscribers to the TechSoup list. Now, that's great. So let's see, I'm gonna do, uh, I'm going in two, uh, I'll, I'll do two ways, show two ways. Uh, I think we got another one <laughs> uh, of how I can take advantage of that. I'm gonna go to the campaign. Uh, and I'm going to call it TechSoup News. Uh, and this is just a practice message. I'm just gonna say thank you for joining 
if we or spell it correctly, uh, joining our session today. All right. Who do I want it to go to? Well, I'm going to have it go to uh, our TechSoup registrants uh, for this keyword. I'm going to send it immediately and send now. All right. So I'm on that list and I just got the message that uh, thank you for joining our session. Uh, did anyone else get it? I think if, if one person got it, okay, fantastic, you received it. Now, uh, now that's pretty simple. It's like, what's the big deal maybe? Uh, can you do anything useful with it? I'm gonna show you something that is really useful uh, to what I want to accomplish in my organization. I'm gonna do one more test. Now, a lot of times, many of us, all of us maybe are out uh, without our laptop, maybe we've got our phone. I'm going to send another message from my phone and let's see uh, if that, uh, how that works, okay? So the way I have it set up, and I know you can't see this, but the way I have it set up on my phone, I have it configured with uh, this cloud texting platform. I'm going to send the keyword to my, my number and it should allow me to, to send the message to all of you by sending it as a text message from my phone into the cloud texting platform for delivery out to you. So in the message, I'm gonna put, this is coming from my phone, okay? So I sent that as a text message the way I conventionally send text messages from my phone. And now I'm asking you, did anyone receive the message that says this is coming from my phone. Okay, fantastic. Does that make sense? Liz, I'm gonna ask you to come off uh, mute. Does that make sense or does that seem <laughs> crazy? No, uh, it seems perfectly normal. And um, we're demonstrating how like nonprofits can use text messaging to communicate with large audiences in a way that is clearly very, can be in the moment and right on people's phones. So that's one of the best ways to um, get in touch with people now. So yeah, it makes yeah, sense. thanks. Yeah. Um, so when I uh, was talking with uh, a colleague of mine who's uh, an executive director at uh, an organization in, in my area, she was saying that she sets up lists for her trustees or board members for families who uh, you know want to be on a distribution for something I'm using it to send out notices of upcoming events or activities that my organization is doing and there is also a mobile app that works with this particular uh, texting platform uh, that is available either from you know the app store for uh, iPhones or Android, uh, Google Play. So that that is pretty convenient. You can do uh, quite a bit with your uh, with your phone. I'm going to return to the video we're going to watch another minute or two uh let's see uh let me lower that one lower that one see if i can get back to uh 
back to the video or my video. A actually, what I should just do is is go. Yeah, I already. Uh, I'm going to bring up. Here we go. Uh, so, Jerome, there was a question yeah, from yeah. somebody. If we could answer that yeah. before I move on. So, yeah, Lisa asked, will you explain the apps section and what apps can be connected? Okay. Yes, uh, th th that's exactly what. Uh, what the next portion of the video is going to go over. So that that's, okay. you know, really... Uh... Hi there, and welcome to Simple okay. Texting. So, uh, In this video, I'm, we're I'm, gonna show you how to add your I'm first gonna contacts jump. and send your first message. I, we, we already watched that part. I'm gonna jump up to, it was about two and a half. And you're going to see about how the apps work uh, in this next section. And then if there's any more questions after the video and Jerome's explanation, pl please put them in the chat, but we'll see what the video, if the video um, answers the questions you have for now. Okay, thank you. Yep, and I'll check, uh, check in as well. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna pick up uh, where the video is going to explain how apps work. Just send it now. Done, your first message is out in the world. If you use our link shortener, you can even see how many people click your link down here. Now you may be wondering, what if somebody texts back? Great question. You can manage replies from the inbox. That's right, simple texting lets you reach groups and have one-on-one -on -one conversations. You can do everything from alerts to customer service. Hey, take a look at that. Someone just messaged us. Awesome. Can I order coffee in bulk? Let's reply back. You sure can. Feel free to email wholesale at thedailygrind.com. You know what, this is awesome. Our coffee shop sold a whole bunch of new products thanks to our campaign and even found a lead for a wholesale client. Wouldn't it be great if we could text employees too? I mean, I already have their phone numbers and permission to text them. Easy, just go to subscribers, add a list called employees, then click import and select your file. Be sure it has a header row so you can map the fields. You have to agree to our terms and conditions first. Map the fields, and you're done. Now, the same way we sent our first campaign, we can send a mass text to all of our employees about important info or requests, like when we need a shift covered, for example. Hmm, how else can simple texting help our coffee shop? I wish I could collect phone numbers from my site visitors too. We can do that by adding a web form to our site. Just go to app. Okay, I'm just pausing it there. This, this, as you heard, this is where the specific explanation of apps is being presented in the video. Okay, back to the video. Web signup forms and click create signup form and give your form a name. Again, this is just for your reference. We wanna add customers who fill out this form to our customers list. And you know, it would be cool to personalize our text. So let's collect first names. We'll make it a required field. Click save. And now you can preview your form to see what it'll look like on your site. And to add it to your site, just click the get code button and copy and paste the code onto your site. There you have it. A few minutes is all it takes to start texting your customer. Thanks to simple texting, your business is growing. And that's just the beginning. In our next video, we'll cover things like picture messages, drip campaigns, personalization, and more. Hope to see you there. Okay, let's see. Uh, now, granted, that was a very brief uh, coverage of it. Uh, Liz, I think we there are, I, I'm going to go back to our links. I believe that there is a... Yeah, a section of videos on this. Per if you happen to like uh, this I did particular one video link already. So okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and maybe you you sent this one as well. So I I'm just repeating it. There there's a section on uh, videos. Let me bring that up, uh, and you can see if if you were interested in a, um, you know, a, a more detailed explanation of how to use 
the apps, you can probably find it in there. I used the apps a little bit. Um, let's say, I don't know if I could, uh, I used the data collection app uh, a little bit. And as you can see, if I go over to my keywords section, you see that there are certain apps uh, like uh, this one where when you, if you want to try it right now, I, the keyword is YTB100. So if anyone wants to try that, uh, Liz, I don't know if you have not uh, done that yet. If you send a, uh, the keyword YTB100 to the number 844941-4282, you, uh, you might get a, a couple of follow-ups that would say, please enter your zip code or your location uh, and whatnot. You can add uh, a number of other fields for information to be collected. Okay. Um, so if anyone wants to try that, you, you can try that. Okay, is that uh, so far so good? Yes. I'm gonna, okay, great, thank you. All right, so what I want to do uh, in the next few minutes, I want to show you what, uh, how I'm, in addition to all of these things, the other way that I'm using this cloud texting platform. As some of you know, the uh, type of organization that I'm involved with is called youth time banking. Time banking is a system of service exchange where time is used as the currency. And the, the focus that uh, I am uh, giving to time banking is to get youth involved and connected with their community by participating in projects in the community where they would report their time and activity back to me or back to the organization. So uh, let's see, I'm gonna bring up, uh, let me go back. To, so I'm gonna show you how that's being accomplished. Um, not sure if I had that. Yep, I think if I click on this link here, uh, Liz, this is the ytbnj.org forward slash time. All right, so I'm gonna boost, boost out this. This is a report that shows the number of participants in uh, youth time banking, the number of hours they've been participating, the number of activities overall that have been completed and the different theme areas or categories that those activities fall within. So it's kind of like a, a way of grouping the activities or bundling them up. And this report is created from the text messages that youth participants send for their participation. Does that make sense? So let me give you an example uh, of how, how that happens. Let's say I'm a youth in the community and I'm participating in a project and I want to report my hours. Okay, so I'm gonna bring up uh, another website for my organization. Uh, and uh, Liz, I'll put this, uh, this is our check-in. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna put this in the, in the chat. And so the youth, when we, you know, we have an orientation, we say for each of your activities, send a text message that includes a number and a short description. So let's say for the meeting right now, I'm, I'm going to claim that this is part of my community 
involvement and activity. And it's, I'm gonna say it's 75 minutes for the meeting. Uh, so the number would be 75. And the activity description would be, you know, say virtual workshop or something like that. And I'm gonna send it to the number 844-941-4282. So please don't do that yourself just now. Uh, I want to explain something. Uh, I'm going to do that right now. And so I'm going to put in 75 and I'm going to call it Tech Soup Workshop. Okay. So the reason that uh, I like this is because with people in general and uh, youth in particular, it, I get a lot more cooperation and a higher response rate by asking youth who might be community gardening to send a text message as opposed to when you get home tonight, log into your computer and... Uh, complete this form uh, reporting your time. Now that's great if they do that. So as you can see, uh, my message came in right here that uh, I'm working on that. Now, another thing that happens is that one of the features in uh, this cloud texting platform is that it will, I'm just, uh, Got a multitask over here to see if I could find uh, my uh, yeah my page where it, the messages get forwarded. Okay, so you can see I just sent that in. All right, and so you're saying, wow, that sounds crazy. You, you sent a a text message so that it gets converted or forwarded into an email message. Why why on earth would you do that? Okay, well, the reason I want to do that is because the technology is doing all of the heavy lifting for me. And this is all happening behind the scenes. All right, so what's gonna happen? Right at the time that I was sending it in, my report shows uh, that there were 897 hours of community service. I just reported another hour. So the report will refresh. And uh, if the wind is blown in the right direction, we should see an increase in the number of hours by one. Just let this complete. And this happens behind the scenes. I'm manually uh, running the refresh now. Uh, oh my goodness, uh, I got, uh, there must have been some backlog of things, but I, I put in, uh, as you can see, the number of hours went up. It should have only gone up by one. So I'm not sure uh, why it jumped. I've tested this a few times before we started the meeting and it, it was just incrementing by one. But uh, if you'll just take that at, at my word, that's how the uh, report works. And it will refresh on an hourly basis to bring in the, um, the new information. And each participant who uh, is enrolled with our organization has a profile uh, behind the scenes that associates their text number with their name and location and age and so forth. Okay, so does that make sense? Any, uh, did, that, did that come through okay, Liz? Aside from the, uh, oops, let me bring that back up. Yes, what I, I did yeah. have for Ron to take a quick phone call, but what I saw looked yeah. great. <laughs> yeah, so uh, so here's just another uh, view of that on the website, or I'm sorry, uh, on the uh, service that generates the report and the uh, 
the schedule of the refresh is set for roughly uh, roughly one hour on here. So that's uh, the uh, the reason for uh, yeah, thanks Tyree, thanks for stopping in with us. So that's how I've been using uh, simple texting. And that was my motivation for, uh, for wanting to, uh, to use a service like that. Let me just see if I get back to, uh, uh, where's my simple texting here? Um, See if I can get back, and then I'll uh, move on to the next uh, next section. It's uh, it's a little tricky here. Here is this, yeah. So here's uh, the campaigns, uh, the keywords, just for a review, the uh, the subscribers based on the list. So I have one set up for uh, the the board members for people who want to be notified about activities. This is our larger one here where we have 25 people uh, where I just give them background information of new things going on. These are people who are uh, have been involved for a long time with the organization. And this is the list that uh, we used in our demo today for TechSoup. Okay, so, uh, I'm going to kind of move on to the the next part of our uh, meeting, and uh, just check in if any uh, any other questions then about uh, this area here on on cloud texting. Could I ask a question for the yeah 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 participants to answer if they feel like um, maybe like put in the chat if you have any idea of how cloud texting could be useful for your organization. Um, Jerome already talked about how YTB is kind of using um, texting. So maybe share what you think your organization could do with cloud texting um, because there's just so many things that you can do to keep people informed um, with cloud texting and uh, just interested in knowing uh, what type of organizations are out there and different ways that it might be useful to them. Yeah, thank you, Liz. Uh, I'm going to, uh, you know, follow up on, on your point. And if uh, Krista, if you're still uh, connected with us, I know sometimes people have to step away or take a call. Uh, have you tried uh, any of these cloud texting services for your work? Uh, I think it would be you know, really, uh, like I, right now, I, I feel like I can't live without it. That's, uh, it's, it's one of my most pleasant discoveries this year. What are your thoughts, Krista? You have time to comment? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, in my previous organization, we had um, worked with breast cancer survivors and we right. had close to 33 programs a month that I would oversee. And all these programs were so unique and different that um, you know, it, it, a program, whether it is about reflexology to a program about heart health during uh, cancer treatment to even fun programs about um, storybooking to craft classes. And so any yeah. time a breast cancer survivor walked in um, our organization, she would list all the, or she or he would list all the things that they are interested in. So then they would receive notifications that their upcoming program is coming up. Would they be interested? And it's just a nice little reminder that, you know, they're out there. We have programs, um, you know, some, I, I'll be honest with you, some got a little annoyed by that they, but honestly, they put down, you know, they were interested in, you know, over a hundred programs. And so, they did receive a lot more text than some people, but that was something that we just had to fine tune a little bit later. How frequently do you want these text messages? So, okay. yeah, that's, do, I'm, I'm very familiar with it. Yeah, do, do you mind telling us which uh, platform you, you worked with? Lord have mercy, Jerome, I have no idea. It's, it was <laughs> almost five years ago. <laughs> okay, okay. Sorry, sorry there, about that. Yeah. There's a, um, maybe if we could pull up a, a quick example, there's something 
uh, uh, Liz, if, if you're able to uh, help me out, there's the crisis text line. Uh, I think they are, uh, they've made uh, like extraordinary advantage of, uh, yeah, of like, I'm gonna click on that and, and pull it over. I believe they, they may even be a, uh, a customer of, possibly of, of simple texting and that's uh, so wow this is uh, you, you can see they're quite advanced uh, users of uh, cloud texting I'm calling it cloud texting I don't know if that's the um, you know the um, the standard term uh, or web texting uh, or a texting service maybe that's uh, a more everyday way of, of talking about it, but it it really uh, is uh, a quick and immediate uh, way to uh, you know effectively get some you know really precision targeted information uh, out to people and to respond to their requests. I know one of the people who works with me in youth time banking. Uh, she has a few kids in. Uh, in middle school and high school and the schools use a texting service and, and uh, Valerie who's the mother says that she finds it really valuable. I know that one of the community organizations in my area sends out activity updates, you know, weather closings or changes in time. And uh, I know with my own family, people are a lot quicker to uh, check their text messages uh, than they are uh, something else. Okay, I'm going to wrap up in about two minutes here. I appreciate uh, those of you who are able to uh, hang with us uh, this long. Um, last couple of things I wanted to mention are to share some links that I, I think are that I found very interesting. And uh, Liz, I think you put out in the chat the, uh, the nonprofit pricing for simple texting. So that's good. Uh, I don't know if I included, I want to put the Canva one uh, up there. I'm just going to copy and paste it. Um, and Canva is a very useful, powerful, popular um, graphics design tool for anything and everything. I think they have on their site Canva for anything. On this link, now, for example, this is where you may not, you would not find this, I don't think, as a, um, a subscription offering through TechSoup. But if you go to Canvas uh, website, you see they have a section for nonprofits. And there is somewhere on here, because I completed it, a form that you complete. Yeah, apply now. It's free. And you can qualify for their nonprofit pricing. OK. So uh, I did that. I'm in the process. Uh, I, I believe I'm qualified. I am qualified for it. I'm just getting that, uh, you know, completed. The other one that uh, I discovered recently is called Close Talk. Let's see if I copy that one. And uh, I I'm attracted to their business model for nonprofits. Because I'd like to have a way to make branded apparel available to supporters of time banking and youth time banking. And they've got a great model that really manages the inventory and price points for nonprofits. Uh, there's a nonprofit application for how you can participate if you find this interesting. Krista, have you ever heard of this uh, closed talk? It's pretty cool. Um, and so uh, let's see, 
on my desktop, you can see that I have this black and white logo. So some of our volunteers are not volunteers, but members of Youth Time Banking, particularly uh, an individual in Jamaica, designed this graphic, put it in, I don't know if this is called grayscale or black and white, uh, looks like it might be more on the order of a grayscale. But uh, this is an example of what I would uh, submit with my application to Close Talk that they could brand on hats, t-shirts, bags. And you don't have to pay anything other than if you want the t-shirt, they have fixed pricing on what that would be for anyone. Uh, so I think it's a, it's, and you can still, again, it, it doesn't preclude you from doing anything else if you want to uh, print your own t-shirts, which what we're trying to do with, um, you know, our smart cutting plotters and heat presses, uh, we'll still uh, do that as well. Okay, the, uh, just one or two more, um, and then we'll close up shop. Uh, I'm just going to bring up, I think, this last one, uh, badger.com. This is something that was recommended to me uh, by some people I've been working with uh, to put together a panel discussion on school-based youth services and youth time banking and youth courts, uh, badger.com, which is a way for maybe uh, getting youth or anyone involved with earning digital badges uh, for demonstrating capabilities in different areas. And so we're looking for a way to bring that, incorporate that in with our youth uh, time banking model. So thank you, Chris. I see your response. Yeah, uh, close talk is pretty cool. Like I said, there's no downside to it. It doesn't block you out of doing anything else. And uh, so let me uh, wrap up the show here by going back to close top talk, <laughs> excuse me, and uh, shopping by nonprofits. Uh, quite a few uh, of my friends like animals. And so if you click in there, uh, I think, yeah, live like Rue, you can, you know, it, it gives you a nice description of the organization. And it makes any of these apparel items available. Uh, and you don't have to do anything. If you want to buy it, if you want to get a uh, t-shirt, they have, you know, how would it be possible for an organization like mine to offer this variety? Uh, you know, I can get a baseball cap, uh, I can get a t-shirt and, and once I have my organization registered, uh, we would have our own page. Isn't that like, wow? Could I get a wow from somebody? Wow. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, and um, so, uh, and, and there's just, looks like hundreds and hundreds of, of organizations in here. You can, yeah, shop by category. Uh, and, and I'm not recommending, you know, I'm not trying to drum up business for these other ones. I want to get time banking, youth time banking. They have big brothers, big sisters in here. A lot of really cool stuff and some really cool design ideas. And I think they'll give you a little bit of guidance if you need that. Okay, everybody. So um, thank you. Thank you so much, Krista. We'll have uh, another session in October and then we'll plan some things for um, next season, uh, next year rather, every other month, something like that. And in the upcoming meetings, I'll talk about jot form and some cool things with PDFs and snip and sketch. So um, we, any other requests, suggestions, recommendations? For Badger, um, is there a price yeah. to that? Um, no, let me bring that uh, back up. Um, 
And well, yes and no, like there's, uh, you can get started for free. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so I wanna show you, let me log in to my account. I, oh yeah, I already have an account. Let me back up, back up the car here. Uh, sign in, okay. And how come I'm not, it should, rec- I'm gonna just sign in with my Microsoft account. I think that should, yeah, here we go. Okay, yep, I've, I've signed in before. I don't know, maybe I was on a different browser. Okay. Um, and I completed one of these, let's see. So, gosh, I know I have one. I know I have one. I don't know. It's stored somewhere. Um, let me see if I could pull up the one that I did. And it, it's called Digital Fluency Badger.com. Let's see if that comes up. Okay. It's taken me right back where I was, right? Um, so, okay. Yeah, yeah. So I'll 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 pull that up uh, out of my email. Uh, I'm I'm at, obviously I'm I'm new at this, but I do have a badge. I qualified for it. I completed it, and and. And I have it. So I could put it on LinkedIn. I could put it on my Badger profile. And this is something I want to uh, encourage youth to do, uh, especially to, you know, build up their skill set, build up their strengths. And companies are using this. Walmart is using it. I'm not sure if Amazon is using it as a way for people to demonstrate their capabilities separate from like saying, you know, I have this other certificate or I took this course in college. Uh, it, it, it gives a more flexible way for people to demonstrate that they know how to do things. And uh, especially for youth, I think it would be, you know, really great. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I'll, I'll send that to you uh, and I'll show you, show off my badge. So. <laughs> I, I think that also it builds trust. Too. You could see that a particular person's been in the system for a little bit too. Wait, I didn't hear the problem. first part of what you said, uh, trust. Krista. Trust. Oh, oh, trust. Yes, yes. Good point. Yes, you got it. Uh, that's the name of the game. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Well, yeah. Liz and I are going to be back online Thursday evening, seven o'clock, for YTB for Community. And uh, I hope you'll be there too with uh, Christine Gray and Edgar Kahn. I Is think that... they are. I think they are. I don't know if I would be, but um, I will certainly try. Yeah. Okay. You're registered. So if you can join us, if it, yeah, that, that would be great. So uh, you're going to hear a lot from me this week, I guess, Krista. <laughs> so appreciate, uh, you know, your involvement and uh, participation with all this. You so, got it. Okay. Yeah. Thanks a lot. You have a good evening. Thank you, Liz. Uh, I'll be in touch and um, see you again soon. <laughs> see you again soon. Okay. Bye-bye, okay. everybody. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Bye.